Let's Go Six Student Book by Ritsuko Nakata, Karen Frazier, and Barbara Hoskins. Songs and Chants by Carolyn Graham. Published and copyrighted by Oxford University Press. CD One. Page Two. Let's remember. A. Listen. Point and say. Look at this boat. It's colorful. Look at that one. It's very large. Which one is faster? Rick is faster than Tom. Where's Andy? Have you seen him? Yes, he's eating lunch over there. What will you do after lunch? I think I'll play tennis. What about you? I'll go swimming. Have you ever eaten sushi? Yes, I have. I like sushi. Page four, Unit One, School Days. Let's talk. A, listen and say. Whose scarf is that? It's Anna's scarf. Whose mittens are those? They're hers too. Is that her glove too? No, it isn't. I think it's Jim's glove. Which boy is Jim? He's the boy over there. Jim, I think this is yours. Oh, thanks for finding it. You're welcome. Page four, language focus. Thanks for finding it. You're welcome. Page five. B. Practice the words. Number one. Scarf. Number two. Mittens. Number three. Gloves. Number four. Glasses. Number five. Belt. Number six. Watch. Page five. B. Ask and answer. Whose scarf is that? It's Anna's scarf. It's hers. My scarf. Mine. Her scarf. Hers. His scarf. His. Your scarf, yours. Number one. Whose scarf is that? It's Anna's scarf. It's hers. Number two. Whose mittens are those? They're Jenny's mittens. They're hers. Number three. Whose gloves are those? They're Scott's gloves. They're his. Number four. Whose glasses are those? They're Jim's glasses. They're his. Number five. Whose belt is that? It's Andy's belt. It's his. Number six. Whose watch is that? It's Kate's watch. It's hers. Page five. C. Listen and sing. Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? They're mine. They're my boots. Whose boots are those? Whose boots are those? Whose boots are those? They're mine. They're my boots. Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? They're mine. Are you sure they're yours? All of them? Yes, I'm sure they're mine. Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? They're mine. They're my boots. Whose boots are those? Whose boots are those? Whose boots are those? 
boots are those? They're mine, they're my boots. Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? They're mine. Are you sure they're yours? All of them? Yes, I'm sure they're mine. Page 6. Let's learn. A. Learn the words. Number 1. Watering the plants. Number 2. Feeding the fish. Number 3. Writing on the board. Number 4. Talking to the teacher. Number 5. Reading a textbook. Number 6. Writing an essay. Page 6. B. Ask and answer. There is a new teacher in the class. She is learning the names of her students. Which boy is Scott? He's the boy who is watering the plants. Number 1. Which boy is Scott? He's the boy who is watering the plants. Number 2. Which boy is Andy? He's the boy who is reading a textbook. Number 3. Which girl is Jenny? She's the girl who is writing on the board. Number 4. Which girl is Kate? She's the girl who is feeding the fish. Page 7. C. Ask and answer. Which girl is Lisa? She's the girl who is writing an essay. Number 1. Which girl is Lisa? She's the girl who is writing an essay. Number 2. Which boy is Kevin? He's the boy who is reading a textbook. Number 3. Which boy is Luke? He's the boy who is writing on the board. Number 4. Which girl is Abby? She's the girl who is talking to the teacher. Page 7. D. Listen and chant. Kim's father was born in Seoul. Kim's father was born in Seoul. They speak Korean at home. Which man is Kim's father? He's the man who's waiting for the phone. Anne's sister was born in Rome. They speak Italian at home. Which girl is Anne's sister? She's the girl who's standing by the phone. Ken's brother was born in Japan. They speak Japanese at home. Which boy is Ken's brother? He's the boy who's talking on the phone. Page 8. Let's learn more. A. Learn the words. Number 1. Talking on his cell phone. Number 2. Reading a magazine. Number 3. Walking in the park. Number 4. Drinking some water. Number 5. Playing a game. Number 6. Sitting on a bench. Page 8. B. Make sentences. Jenny was sitting on a bench when it started to rain. What were Andy, Kate, and Scott doing? Jenny was sitting on a bench when it started to rain. Number 1. 
Jenny was sitting on a bench when it started to rain. Number two. Andy was drinking some water when it started to rain. Number three. Kate was walking in the park when it started to rain. Number four. Scott was talking on his cell phone when it started to rain. Page nine. C. Play a game. Ask and answer. What was she doing when it started to rain? She was skateboarding when it started to rain. Page nine. D. Ask your partner. Hear. Heard. See. Saw. Number one. What was she doing when she heard the noise? Number two. What was he doing when he saw the skunk? Page 10. Let's read. A. Listen and read along. Then read again. The first ice pop. Do you like ice pops? A young boy made the first ice pop in 1905. One cold night, Frank was making soda water outside. He mixed soda powder and water in a cup. He was mixing the soda with a straw when he heard his mother. Come inside, Frank, she said. Frank forgot to take his cup with him. In the morning, he saw the cup. The soda water was frozen. He pulled the frozen soda out of the cup. It was an ice pop. Page 10. B. Choose the correct answer. Number 1. Who made the first ice pop? Number 2. When did Frank make the ice pop? Page 11. E. Listen and write. Do you hear aw or ow? Number 1. Cow. Number two. Saw. Number three. Powder. Number four. Straw. Page twelve. Unit two. At the aquarium. Let's talk. A. Listen and say. What a great day. It sure was, but I'm tired now. Me too. We really walked a lot. What did you like best? I think I liked the penguins best. They were cute. What about you? I liked the sharks. They were scary. Page 12. Language focus. What a great day. It sure was. Page 13. B. Say these. Number 1. She was amazed. The penguins were amazing. Number 2. He was bored. The movie was boring. Number three. She was interested. The book was interesting. Number four. He was tired. The race was tiring. Number five. He was excited. The ride was exciting. Number six. She was scared. The shark was scary. Page 13. C. Listen and chant. The racing chant. Look at those kids. Look at them run. Good. 
This is exciting. This is fun. I'm excited. Look at them run. This is exciting. This is fun. Look at that skier. Look at her go. This is exciting. She's not slow. I'm excited. Look at her go. This is exciting. She's not slow. Page 14. Let's learn. A. Learn the words. Number 1. An aquarium. Number 2. A tour. Number 3. A lecture. Number 4. An exhibit. Number five. A shark. Number six. An octopus. Page 14. B. Make sentences. Andy and Jenny had a great day at the aquarium. All the exhibits were exciting. What was scary? What was interesting? What was amazing? What was tiring? The shark was scary. Scary. Interesting. Amazing. Tiring. Number one. The shark was scary. Number two. The lecture was interesting. Number three. The octopus was amazing. Number four. The tour was tiring. Page 15. C. Make sentences. The exhibit was amazing. She was amazed. Number one. The exhibit was amazing. She was amazed. Number two. The sharks were exciting. He was excited. Number three. The lecture was boring. He was bored. Number four. The aquarium was interesting. She was interested. Page 15. D. Listen and chant. The Aquarium Chant. The aquarium was amazing. I was amazed. The sharks were really scary. But they weren't scared. The dolphins were exciting. The kids were very excited. But Grandma thought it was boring. She was really bored. Page 16. Let's learn more. A. Learn the words. Number 1. A jellyfish. Number 2. A sea turtle. Number three. A squid. Number four. A video. Number five. A ride. Number six. A pedal boat. Page 16. B. Make sentences. The children were talking about the aquarium. What did they say? Kate said the sea turtles were amazing. Is 
was. Are. Were. Number one. The sea turtles are amazing. Kate said the sea turtles were amazing. Number two. The jellyfish is boring. Scott said the jellyfish was boring. Number three. The ride is exciting. Andy said the ride was exciting. Number four. The pedal boat is tiring. Jenny said the pedal boat was tiring. Page 17. C. Play a game. What did they say? He said he was amazed. She said the squid was scary. Page 18. Let's read. A. Listen and read along. Then read again. Waves in a bottle. Do you like to look at waves when you go to the beach? You can look at waves in a bottle, too. 1. First, wash a bottle so you can reuse it. Put some water and a little blue color into the bottle. 2. Next, put oil into the bottle. You can put in some glitter, too. 3. Put some glue around the bottle cap and close the bottle. Close it tight. When you move the bottle, you'll see waves. Page 18. B. Choose the correct answer. Number 1. What do you do first? Number 2. What do you do last? Page 19. E. Listen and write. Do you hear oi or o? Uh? Number one. Coin. Number two. Book. Number three. Oil. Number four. Cook. Number five. Look. Page 20. Let's review. Units 1 and 2. A. Listen and check. Number 1. Which boy is Alvin? He's the boy who is feeding the fish. Number 2. Which girl is Karen? She's the girl who is writing on the board. Number three. What was he doing when it started to rain? He was sitting on a bench when it started to rain. Number four. What was she doing when it started to rain? She was playing a game when it started to rain. Page 20. B. Listen and check. What did they say? Number one. I saw sharks at the aquarium yesterday. You did? How were they? They were scary. Number two. Did you go to the sea park this weekend? Yes, I did. I went on a water ride. How was it? It was fun. I was excited. Page 20. C. Listen and check. Number 1. What did he say? He said it was interesting. Number 2. What did she say? She said he was tired.